Ryobi has come out with a new Bluetooth speaker that they claim is 8.5 times better sounding than their last unit. We're going to take a good look at this thing, try to show you guys everything it'll do and give you a little tidbit on the sound quality. Stick with us. Power on. So Ryobi came out with this new one plus 18 volt Bluetooth speaker that will take any 18 volt battery that they have on the market and they claim it's 8.5 times better than the older P746. Now if you're into Ryobi Bluetooth speakers, you know some of them have been great and some of them have been a lot less than great. I can tell you this one actually lives up to its hype and it's interesting to see the two three inch speakers here with one tweeter in the middle really put out some great sounding music. Now beyond that it also has some other changes where it talks to you and tells you what's happening which is kind of interesting and it makes me wonder where they might have grabbed this from because it also has a different model number than the rest and I'll put all that in the description along with links. And you also have a 2.1 amp USB charger here. That charger only works while it's on. This is really interesting. I think uh, we should come in and take a look at it. So it's a pretty basic Bluetooth speaker. You have four rubber pads on the bottom that give it a good feel and allow this to stick to any surface that you have. You have power, play, pause, volume up and down and forward back on your tracks. Here's your USB charging port. You have a rubber handle on the side and that was interesting when I first grabbed it. I was actually surprised that this wasn't plastic, but it'll work long term. Uh, it looks like it's going to stick in there well, even if we pull on it quite hard. It doesn't seem to come out, but that was uh, one of the interesting notes that we had. Just felt different. It'll take any Ryobi battery back here. No big deal on what one it is or isn't. You're not gonna get any more sound or anything out of it on anything else. Pretty basic here. Uh, if we have the unit off and we plug in our phone, nothing happens. We have to push the power button to power start charging. On. And you heard it say power on. Connected. It talks to you about different things. It'll tell you when the battery power is getting low. Um, but from here, if we push the play button, it starts playing music. Now what's interesting about this is I can get the volume buttons to work on my Android and they actually bring up the volume and lower it on my phone. That doesn't happen on all Android devices. It used to or does on all Apple, but it's just a little bit more of an advanced connection for most users. Now when I hit the pause button, nothing happens. And if you push and hold this pause button for a period of time, it'll actually Bluetooth disconnect. That's what, uh, there's a little sticker here telling you that, and I've been pushing this pause button multiple times trying to get that to work and I'll just disconnect. But I can go forward, I can go backward, it doesn't matter, whatever I want to do. Now you're listening to this behind me so you're not getting the full sound quality. But if I turn this, so we have the microphone here, I'm just trying to give you a, an idea of how loud this is so you can hear me talk over top of this unit and we'll just keep going up in volume. So as we're getting closer to the top, we are peaked out at this point in time. And the sound quality is pretty good. I need a little bit different song here to give you an idea. There's a little vibration and rattle. I'm going to walk back a little bit. So at this point, 10 feet away, plenty loud. This would be plenty loud for a job site.
So plenty loud for a job set. I don't know how much of that you could hear, but this thing it puts out quite a bit of, of noise and, and it's fairly good quality up to the point you get to three quarters. And then if you have any bass, you'll start to get little rattles and maybe a touch of distortion above three quarters. But f from zero to half, it's very loud. It comes up in volume very quick. And then from half to full, it does the same thing. Um, but I think the usable volume is from zero to three quarter. And once you get above that, this thing is quite loud and would fill a large house full of noise without issue. So. Let's back up a little bit and uh, I want to show you a little bit about what I did to try to test some of the bass by putting a, a water bottle in front of this. Now that's what we've done on larger units and you could usually see that the water bottle would move significantly or the water inside would make different movements to show you that there's a significant amount of bass coming out. And it was interesting to see in here actually how much bass came through and how it affected the water. Yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb a little bit here and say that this Ryobi speaker is darn close to the same sound quality and definitely the noise level as the Milwaukee M12 and M18 Bluetooth speaker that they have out. Similar speakers, similar size, uh, maybe the Ryobi is, is a little bit more stout and not as long, but it definitely makes up for it in different areas. It's interesting to see and hear what Ryobi has. I'm going to bet that this is probably the best Bluetooth speaker that they've put out. Now, runtime, you're going to get approximately two to two and a quarter hours per amp hour battery you have in it. So a 1.5 amp hour battery is going to give you three-ish or a little bit over three hours of runtime. Four amp hour battery is going to get you closer to nine and a half, ten. So this will easily run all day. And that's also going to depend on if you're charging your phone or not with the USB adapter. If you are, that will reduce the amount of runtime you have pending how many amps you're pulling through that. So it's hard to judge. You're going to get anywhere from probably one and a half to two and a half pending noise level in charging per amp hour. So you have to do the math on that. So other than that, I like how this is all put together. I think it's interesting that they put rubber feet on the bottom and I think that that helps not only with the sound quality because it's not vibrating around, but it does have enough bass in it that if it was just set on wood, it could vibrate off. This is a good one. I think if you're in the Ryobi market and you're looking for a Bluetooth speaker that doesn't have a radio and it will not play music through the USB. So if you just have a thumb drive and put it in here, it's not going to play it. Um, but other than that, I think that this is a great little speaker to have for the noise that it puts out and it's got good quality. So you don't always hear that with a lot of Ryobi radios. And I know that's going to be something that a lot of people are going to go, ah, but this is one they stepped up on in my opinion. And it could be part of some of the radios that they've been putting out. Like uh, there's another system that's a small plug-in only system, I believe that you can add different speakers to and have like five or six of them. They all talk to each other and play the same uh, music. I'll try to link to that one in the description. That's another good sounding one. That's just a small little unit that puts out really good sound quality. This is similar, very similar. So if you're in the market, check that out. As always, leave us some comments. Super interested in what you think about this. And I know it's hard for you to hear the sound quality through my microphones. I'm doing my best to give you an idea on noise level, but as always, the microphones here, I'm talking, you're gonna hear me a little bit over the speaker, but Either way, definitely something to check out. And if they have this in the Home Depot where you can turn it on and listen to it a little bit, I think it's well worth your time. And of course, they always have that warranty on these and the money back guarantee. So give it a try. Give us a like in this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, we appreciate your time. Have a great day.